Hello everyone, Brickasaurus227 here, and today we're going to be doing another amazing episode of the Nerf Archives, but I am not going to be doing this episode. Today we have Foam Quest as a guest appearance. Thank you so much for showing up, Foam Quest. I really appreciate it. And he is going to be talking about a rival blaster that may actually be one of the better ones that has been kind of overlooked, and that is the Nerf Rival Hera, or Hera, or... Hira, I don't know, however you pronounce it. But the Hira, from what I see, is an amazing blaster. Sadly, I do not own one, so that is why I have Foam Quest here to talk about this amazing blaster. So, without further ado, let's bring it on to Foam Quest. Hello and welcome. Big thanks to Brickasaurus for having me on the show. In today's episode of Nerf Archives, I'm here to talk to you about the Nerf Rival Hera. Now, ever since this third generation Rival Blaster came out, it has been one of my favorites. Now, it did come out in 2017 as a Target exclusive for $59.99 US. So right about $60, which at the time was 10 more dollars than the Zeus. Now, while this is the only variant of the Hera that currently exists, this was the first original Phantom Core blaster. The Phantom Core line eventually had blasters like the Prometheus, Helios, and Hades. But this was the first original blaster, and the idea was you could basically strap a blue or red flag to this blaster to specify your team. Now, I did say this was the first original blaster, but it did launch alongside the Phantom Core Apollo, which was, of course, a repaint. But fun fact about the Phantom Core Apollo is that because it was a newer Apollo, every Phantom Core Apollo has metal gears. Now, back to the Nerf rival Hera, ergonomically, this blaster is pretty sweet. It features a very comfortable stock, absolutely phenomenal magazine release, and quite possibly my favorite trigger pull in all of Nerf. The biggest downside to it ergonomically is this massive grip, because this grip is even larger than the one on the Apollo and Helios. And the reason for that is not only does it have to house the rival magazine, but it also has to house the electronics for the rev trigger. So we do have a jam door up here, which is also a tactical rail. We have the safety right below the trigger, and the wheels in this blaster are horizontal, just like on the Nerf rival Perseus. Now the blaster ships with a 12 round stick magazine, but is also compatible with the seven round magazine. One of my favorite attributes of the Hera is the fact that when you get it out of the box, it comes with a battery tray that can house C batteries. But the beautiful thing is that you don't have to use the C batteries. This is not only compatible with the tray from the Nemesis and Chaos, which enable you to use D batteries if you want, but you can also use the Nerf Rival rechargeable battery, which gives you 7.4 volts and boosts your performance. I do have that battery in here right now and I'm hitting about 100 FPS, with a complete absence of bog down. So I can pull this trigger as fast as I can and not see a drop in performance. Let's fire some shots downrange. Very snappy performance, it's quite a consistent blaster, and like I said, this trigger is super snappy and I love it. So that is the Nerf Rival Hera. Back to you, Brickasaurus. Thank you so much, Foam Quest, for checking out this amazing blaster. And guys, go check out his channel, it's amazing. He does great reviews, great Nerf news videos. All his videos are really great, short, simple, and just amazingly well edited videos. So go check his channel out, I'll have it tagged in the title. But what do I think of the Nerf Rival Hero? So I can't really give a rating because I do not own one, but the closest thing I have to it is the Nerf Rival Challenger. And I can say if the Hera is anything like this or even better, then it's probably gonna be in the amazing or great category because I think the idea of semi-auto rival blasters has been kind of overlooked in favor of the more full auto hopper feds but I think I almost prefer this over hopper fed. It's more practical in some ways, in my opinion. Now, obviously the hopper blasters are generally better, but I think people overlook these in favor of the hopper fed ones. And semi-auto rival blasters, they need to make more of them. And I can't wait to see if Nerf will make more in the future. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, huge thanks to Foam Quest for being in this episode. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. My junk drawer, my junk drawer. So many things, I don't know what they're for, but I won't let it go, no, I will add more useless little things to my junk drawer.